Señores, buenos días, ¿cómo están? Good morning, how are you? Que lo va, que lo que. I just got home, I got my. Señores, prepérense. Se te voy a happy, tú sabes. Me levanté contenta. Hola, and this is my pre workout for today. I didn't make it at home because I am a busy girl. Estoy muy, pero muy, pero muy busy. Pues sí. Today workout, I'm gonna try to do it in Spanish. Por otro lado, inglés. Oh, señor, this is not gonna work out. I can't do Spanish only. I need to do a mixture because lo que pasa es que yo ni sé ni inglés ni sé ni español. I don't know English or Spanish. I don't know what I know. But anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos para mi canal. Today I have a workout which we're gonna focus on a push day. So if this is something that you are wanting to learn more about, this is your video. So, este video. Es para ti. Si tú quieres hacer un ejercicio que es para más... ¿Cómo se dice push en el español? Tú ves, yo no sé. Guys, if you have any questions regarding this workout, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Comenten abajo. No me comenten cosas feas ni cosas malas. Comenten cosas buenas porque me gustan las cosas buenas. Ponme muchas vibras buenas abajo en, el, en los comentarios. This is Spanglish because I would say Spanish, pero no me va a salir el español también y no me va a salir el inglés también. So, que yo no entiendo que esta cabeza mía a veces como que los wires se ponen así y no hacen nada. Ay, bueno, señores, pero nada, para adelante. I want to start making more Spanish content. Quiero hacer más contenido en español porque soy dominicana y soy orgullosa de eso. Ok, ok. Bueno, señores, let's get right into the workout. Let me tell you a little bit more about this workout. This workout is going to be a push day workout, and I'm going to start with dumbbell chest press. You're going to be doing four sets of 12. This movement is particularly for your chest. I want you to lay flat on your mat, and I want you to have an arc on your back. You're going to go down, and then you're going to go up. <sighs> I want you to exhale as you push the weights up to help you with the weight. I want your feet to be flat. If you want to elevate this move, all you have to do is put it into a bridge. I'll show you like this. And then just keep doing your dumbbell chest press. The next move is dumbbell tricep extensions. You're going to do four sets of 15. This is more for toning and strength. So this is a perfect move to add to any push program when you, when you are trying to tone your arms, especially during the summer or if you're looking to get stronger. The 20 is a little bit light for me for this exact movement. movement so be careful that you just use momentum Always focus, no matter how light your weight is or what you have available, just make sure that you always are focusing and getting the most of your workout. And of course, if you are in the gym, you're going to use a bench. <sighs> Once you're done, place your dumbbells down with control and then move on to your next workout. All right, guys, your next move is a... Incline dumbbell fly. If you are in the gym, you're gonna use a bench that is inclined. If you are at home, I'm gonna guide you how to do the same exact movement from the comfort of your own home. I want you to have a 30 to 45 angle, and I also want you to have, I'm gonna use a foam roller. I'm gonna have it on my lower back, and I'm just gonna go back, make sure that your back is secure. This is going to help you also with engaging your abs because you have to keep the foam, roll, the foam roller in place. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my weights. I'm going to use 20. No, can I get? Um, I could use 8. I'm going to go for 8. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to be using 8s for this fly. And this particular... This particularly movement is to target your upper chest and I want you to squeeze when you first come up 
So when you are coming up with your dumbbell, squeeze your chest. This is for strength. Make sure to do three sets of 15. <sighs> You can even go a little bit lower. And I want you to have your foam roller actually on your upper back. I feel like it's more comfortable, but it's all up to comfort. <sighs> so I just noticed this is a little bit too heavy for me because I'm messing up my form. And I am a strong, I am a strong believer that I prefer my form to be good than for my form to be bad, but yet I'm pushing weight. It, it really depends your fitness goal and what do you prefer. I prefer to have good form, so I'm gonna reduce my weight. And I'll show you what that looks like with five. I am gonna go lighter because as I mentioned before, I don't feel like my form was good with the, I think those were eight. So I'm just gonna go down and use five just to make sure that I am engaging my entire body. And more than that, I am not getting injured or hurting myself. As you could tell, I'm always breathing throughout my entire workout, especially during my warm up and cool down. So your next move is a seated tricep extension. If you are in the gym, you could just use the tricep extension machine. That's totally fine. But if you're at home, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I am gonna use A, but I really believe that you could go heavier with this move. And I'm just gonna show you. If you have a, a chair, sitting in a chair is perfect. If not, you can kneel on your knees and just do your tricep extension. You want to make sure that your elbows are near your ears. You are still engaging your core. You're looking forward. If you feel like you could advance with your weight, please do so. This is a exercise that target your tricep. So we're almost done with the workout. Your last movement is a tricep kickbacks. I would advise you to go medium weight with this exercise, but again, it's up to your goal and up to how your fitness level is right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the eight. I am going to bend at my hips. So you have your dumbbell. You're gonna come up and then you're gonna do your kickback. You're gonna come back up. Dumbbells down and when I and when you come up, I want you to come up in an angle Try not to come straight try to do it almost like Close to your ribs and then do your kickback If you feel like you have to hold to a wall or anything that's totally fine with me If you feel any tension on your lower back, I'm gonna ask you to stop and then just come up a tiny bit more. <sighs> Always engaging your abs. Shoulders should be relaxed, shouldn't be rounding your back at all. Right after your workout, you're gonna go ahead and do cardio for 15 minutes. You wanna work on speed and your cardiovascular to improve your heart. Quick tip, if you are a person who have arthritis, I'm gonna advise you to do this workout in the afternoon or in the evening. If you have high cholesterol, I'm gonna ask you to reduce your weight, do not go heavy, and watch how tight you actually hold your dumbbells or your barbell. You always have to have that in your mind. You don't wanna over squeeze your weight. Guys, if you do want me to do content in Espanol, don't forget to comment down below and let your girl know. Let me know, por favor, hágame contenido en español porque yo no sé hablar español. Y yo se lo hago con mucho amor y con mucho, 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 con mucha información. Pero me tienen que decir en los comentarios, díganme, hágame contenido en español. And I will do it. Y yo se lo hago. Guys, thank you. Bye.